Bible Story The Daughter Who Lived Again Jairus walked quickly down the long, narrow street. He was going to his house. I know what will happen when I get home, thought Jairus. My wife will kiss me and give me a glass of cool water. Suddenly, Jairus chuckled. He began to walk faster. I know what else will happen, he grinned. My daughter, little girl, will run out and meet me in the road. She will hug me. Then she will run and tell mother that I am home. Jairus looked up. He could see his house ahead. Suddenly, a small figure started to run toward him. It was a little girl with curly black hair. Father, father, she cried as she ran up. I'm so glad that you are home. Father hugged her and smiled. Jairus watched her as she turned around and began running toward the house. I'm going to tell mother that you are coming, she said over her shoulder. Father shook his head with laughter. My daughter is like a little kitten, Jairus thought. She runs and jumps all day. Father walked into the house. Mother was waiting for him by the door. I'm glad to be home, father said when he saw mother. Mother smiled. She gave father a kiss and a hug. It's time for supper, said mother. She took off father's big sandals so that he could rest his feet. Father followed mother to the table. They sat down. Daughter, called father. Come and sit down. Daughter came to the table and sat down. Her eyes were wide with excitement. I helped mother today, she said with a smile. I helped her carry water and bake bread. That is very good, said father. I am proud of you. Father reached for mother's hand. He reached for their daughter's hand, holding hands together. They thanked God for everything that had happened that day. They thanked God for each other. They thanked God for the food. Daughter smiled. She loved to talk to God. God was very kind and good. After everyone had talked to God, they began to eat. Daughter started to bite into a piece of bread. Suddenly, she felt Very, very tired. Her arms and legs began to hurt. Even her eyes hurt. Father, whispered the daughter weakly, I must lie down. Something is wrong. Father jumped up and walked over to his daughter. He felt her forehead. It was very, very hot. You must have played in the hot sun too long said father. Perhaps you should rest. Father picked up daughter and carried her into a small room. Mother smoothed out daughter's small bed. Father laid their daughter on her bed. You must rest, Jairus said. Tomorrow you may feel fine. Daughter nodded her head slowly. She felt very, very sick. Mother covered daughter with a thin blanket. Good night, she said softly and kissed her daughter on the forehead. Daughter closed her eyes and went to sleep. She slept all night without moving. The next day, she did not jump out of the bed. She did not sit up. She did not even open her eyes. Daughter lay very quietly on her bed all day. Daughter stayed in bed. She did not play. She did not help mother. Daughter did not even see father when he came home from work. Daughter lay in bed for one, two, three days. She lay in bed for four, five, six days. 
Daughter lay in bed for many, many days. Father and mother watched daughter very closely. She did not laugh. She did not cry. She could only say a few words. Daughter was very, very sick. Suddenly, father remembered something very important. There was a special man in town. His name was Jesus. He was God's very own son. Perhaps, perhaps Jesus could help Jairus' daughter. Quickly, Jairus jumped to his feet. Stay with our daughter, he told mother. Keep her very, very quiet. I will be back soon. Jairus kissed mother. He kissed daughter. Then Jairus ran out of the little room. He ran out of the house. Jairus ran down the street to the middle of the town. People were everywhere. Fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles were walking in the streets. Suddenly, Jairus saw a strong, smiling man. It was Jesus. Quickly, Jairus pushed his way to Jesus. Excuse me, Jairus said as he squeezed past two very tall boys. May I get through? Jairus asked a young mother who was carrying a small baby. Oops, Jairus said as he stumbled over a rock. I almost fell. Finally, Jairus bumped into the strong, smiling man. Jesus, cried Jairus as he fell to his knees. Please, come to my house. My little daughter is very sick. She is dying. Bump, thump. A large man pushed Jairus out of the way before Jesus could answer. Jairus looked up. Everyone was crowding around Jesus. There was no room for Jairus. Jairus began to squeeze past the people again. I must get to Jesus, Jairus thought. Jesus, cried Jairus when he was near Jesus again. Help! Jairus stopped in the middle of his sentence. Someone had grabbed Jairus' shoulder. Someone was calling Jairus' name. Jairus! said a young man as Jairus turned around. Jairus recognized the young man instantly. This young man worked at Jairus' house. Don't bother Jesus, said the young man sadly. Your daughter just died. Jairus stared at the young man. Jairus' daughter was dead. Jairus felt sick and empty on the inside. Jairus wanted to run away and cry and cry and cry. Suddenly, Jesus spoke. Jesus talked right to Jairus. Don't be afraid, Jairus. Believe in what God can do and your daughter will live again. Then, Jesus started to squeeze his way through the crowd. Jesus was heading right for the house of Jairus. Quickly, Jairus followed Jesus. Jairus followed Jesus up to the daughter's room. Everyone was crying and weeping. Tears were running down mother's face. Mother was very sad. Everyone must leave the room, said Jesus. Everyone must leave except father mother, and my helpers. Jesus walked over to the daughter's bed. She lay very quiet and still. Jesus took her by the hand. Young girl, Jesus said gently, get up from your bed. The young girl's skin became warm. The young girl began to breathe slowly. She opened her eyes. She then jumped up and looked around. Father and mother smiled. They began to laugh and sing. 
Give her something to eat, said Jesus as he watched the young girl rub her tummy. The young girl smiled. I am glad that I can smile and talk again, she said excitedly. I can run and play and help mother. Father smiled as mother went to get something for their daughter to eat. There were so many people in the crowd today, Jairus said to Jesus. Yet you heard me and made my daughter live again. You must care about everyone. Jesus can do anything. He is God's own son. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves you and me.